Hey, my name is Jeremiah with Affordable Mobility Solutions, and I'm shooting a video today of our GMC 2500. And uh, we took this on trade on a uh, an F250 we had. The gentleman just wanted to upgrade to something a little bit newer, a little few fewer miles on it. And we've taken this truck. We've had our ASC certified mechanics inspect it. We've done a few repairs to it. Not a whole lot. It did need a whole lot. One of the first things we did put four brand new all-terrain tires on it. Now, these are Travel Star brand, so they're not a big name brand, but they're a good quality tire. That's what we had on our old F250. Now, these are 10 ply, so they're a good solid tire. They're brand new. They don't even have 20 miles on them. Uh, as far as the truck overall, it's a pretty clean old truck. Got a light scratch running down the side. But overall, it's, you know, it's not all beat up. Got tinted windows in the rear, running boards. We put brand new mirrors on it as well. Uh, the mirrors that were on there were just old. They weren't working very good. So we went ahead and put brand new mirrors on it. Brand new tires. Very common with these trucks. Uh, the power steering lines were leaking. We replaced all those as well. Of course, it's got the tow package. Lined up for a gooseneck as well. On the uh, trim on the bed here, you can see that's missing. The other side, it's there. So my goal in this video is to show you everything I see about the truck. We're not trying to hide anything. We don't. Uh, I don't employ three mechanics and have a big warehouse so we can try and hide things. We fix what we deem necessary to fix to make a vehicle in a good quality running vehicle for the price, and then the rest we try to let you know exactly exactly what you're getting I don't see any hail on the truck and you can see the price small chip in the bug guard right there well, let me go around to the back I thought I saw a dent in the bumper the other day I don't know if it's reflection or a dent man if it is it's real tiny yeah back bumper looks pretty good the interior, the former owner was a non-smoker. Pretty clean interior. Got the power seat. Super small tear right there. Over all those seats, you know, no cigarette burns in them. Interior is actually really clean on this truck, you know, for the age. A little bit of wear right there on the armrest. Has the rubber floor mats in the back. We've got those back there just drying. Carpets are still in good shape. Back seat looks darn near brand new. Dash looks good. It's not all cracked and torn up. Got the trailer brake. Four-wheel drive. Headliner's in good condition. Get you the VIN number right there in case you need it. And then when I go to fire the truck up, it's got on the current miles. You can see all the check engine light, uh, ABS light, airbag light. They all work. When I go to turn the vehicle on, fires right up every time. Current miles: 205, 109. Let's hop, hop, look under the hood so you can listen to it run. I'm showing the engine, it, it idles smoothly, 
There's not a bunch of leaks underneath. You know, I don't see any signs of any major leaks going on. Truck getting all rusted out. Show some signs of some surface rust, but I mean, that's to be expected for a truck that's about 15 years old. But overall, it's a pretty solid truck. It's in some truck you're going to show up and look at, and it's got a bunch of dents and things we didn't tell you about, a bunch of rust we didn't tell you about, a bunch of stuff doesn't work. It's not how it's not how we do business. We got too much to do to waste your time and mine. So let's take the truck on a drive, let you listen to it run. Before I get to rolling, I noticed the truck has an exhaust brake on it. Uh, I talked to the former owner and we noticed the exhaust brake wasn't hooked up. He said it's been like that since he's owned it, the former owner. So we haven't messed much with it. The exhaust brake is not hooked up. So it does not have an exhaust brake. If you want to play with uh, you know, getting the exhaust brake working, putting the new exhaust brake on there, that's up to you. But I'm not going to sell this truck and make you believe it has an exhaust brake when it's not hooked up. Mirrors, radio, air conditioner, heat, they all work great. Let's drive the truck a little bit. Before we take the truck on the highway, of course it's very important to know the four wheel drive works. My mechanics have already tested this out. Yep, we are in four high. If you ever need to get really rowdy, you even got the four low. And we are definitely in four low right now. Get back into two. So I want to show you the four wheel drive works just fine if you need it. Very nice option to have in these Kansas winters coming up. Let me get the uh, truck on the highway so you can hear it run. Last portion of the video, I'm going to take the truck. I'm going to get it on the highway. I'm going to give it some gas or some, some fuel. up to 65 70 miles an hour no problems shift smoothly you can see the steering wheel is not jumping back and forth no front end issues we'll give it a hard break up here at the next exit I've got the cruise control set at 65 you can see the cruise light on in there so the cruise works just fine overall very solid truck there's nothing I can find on it that doesn't work I don't see any major issues with it whatsoever on the body mechanically Seems to be a pretty nice truck. What I'll do is take the next exit. I'll give it a hard break at the bottom of the exit so you can see there's no brake grinding, squeaking, uh, you know, warp rotors with the steering wheel jumping back and forth. Truck tracks real nice down the highway, nice and straight. Seems to be aligned. Yeah, I think we had it aligned when we put the tires on, if I recall correctly. Man, about 45 miles an hour here. Nice hard brake. Brakes just like it should. Again, no unusual noises, vibrations, anything like that. On our price on the diesel, the uh, the price is firm. I could have put it at 12 and let you talk me down to 11. And if you want to do that, I'll, I'll be more than happy to let you. Or we can set it at a reasonable price. Hopefully you feel like you're getting a good deal. And if you can find a better deal, I'm not mad at you. All the gauges work, everything works. Like I said, no check engine light on. Had the truck running for about 15 minutes right here. And uh, all the gauges where they should be. It's not overheating, anything like that. So my name is Jeremiah. I hope you see in this video we're trying to represent this truck honest and fair as we possibly can. If you have any questions over this vehicle or any of our other vehicles, please call me anytime. And if you ever want to come look at something, please always set an appointment. I know your time is valuable. We're a small dealership. Sometimes we're out doing something like this. We're not always at the dealership. 
So call, make an appointment. We'd be more than happy to take some time with you and show you any of our vehicles and make sure it's exactly what you're looking for. So thank you so much for checking us out. Have a great day.